Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6. Are we on 6? I'm going to assume we're on 6. Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of Super Mario Brothers. Last episode we beat the game, so what the hell are we doing back here? Well, we're beating the game again because now it's different and I did not know that would be a thing. Had absolutely no idea. And uh, I haven't played this in a couple of days. <laughs> so, all of my instincts are going to be wrong. <laughs> We're off to a great start. I could have really used that fire flower. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's episode six, and I'm realizing I have to sit quite close to the microphone because for whatever reason it records me quite quietly, um, as opposed to if I'm just recording something uh, in Vegas Pro, like if I'm doing the voiceover for the weekly waypoint, then it records me at like the usual volume. And uh, when I'm when I'm doing my shadow play recordings too, it seems to do it at the usual volume. But whenever I'm recording like this, for whatever reason, maybe it's to do with the fact that I do this in Audacity and export it out later. But it comes across a lot quieter, which is uh, less than cool. But yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea Mario had a new game plus. So um, I could have called it. I could have. Uh, I could have said, "Hey, I've done it. I've beat the game." And that's the end of his first let's play, and I could say I've done a let's play and it's in the bag, and I could have put it on how long to beat, and uh, I would have felt very satisfied with my accomplishment, and it would have been great, and my suffering would be over, but I do plan on let's playing uh, the Lost Levels at some point, which I've heard are pretty notorious for difficulty, or if they're not, Nintendo thought they were, because they were banned. The reason we got the fake Super Mario Bros. 2 was because they thought we wouldn't be able to handle the difficulty of uh, the real Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, I don't know if that actually translates to gameplay or not though. I guess we'll find out. Why am I collecting coins when I'm using save states? Because it literally doesn't matter. Well, it just makes me feel good. It gives me serotonin, it gives me that good brain juice, and that is exactly what you want out of your platformer. Now to be fair, we could cheat and go through the warp pipes, uh, but we're not going to do that. Because I'm curious, I want to see what the challenge mode for Mario is like. The first time, <coughs> excuse me, the first time I came across any kind of new game plus in a game was the original Ratchet and Clank games, would you believe it, where it's, uh, it's a really good new game plus that they do, because in those games you have upgradable weapons, uh, and you can upgrade them even further in the new game plus save file. Oh my god, were bullet bills in this originally? Ah! Ah! Okay, great start. <laughs> I'm slightly concerned as well because uh, going into this I knew I had the ability to... That was lucky. I knew I had the ability to uh, beat this game uh, because I've done it before, but I've, I've never done this before. So, uh, Whereas we could have had a complete let's play, we may now be venturing into uh, incomplete territory. It seems to know where I'm going, what level I'm... Fuck what level I'm going to be on before I jump there, which is slightly concerning. Like, does this game have some kind of precognitive ability? See? Look, when I'm jumping it knows... Does it just spawn it at like the height of my jump, but it's instantaneous, so I don't notice? I don't know. But yeah, Ratchet & Clank's a new game plus I've always loved. Or is it called Next Game Plus? I don't know. Oh my god, these little dudes are so fast! I was like, ah, oh, they're, they're not that different to Koopas. Uh, the only difference is they drop a shell, but uh, no, they're super speedy as well, which makes the game just that little bit more stressful. But you know. The difficulty in Ratchet and Clank, I'm trying to stay on topic when my brain always wanders off, uh, the difficulty in the Ratchet and Clank's next game plus um, never felt real because while there was a difficulty spike, your increase in power through the new weapon upgrades also just meant that the game kind of felt like it stayed at a sustainable difficulty. Um, this is just all, like, this is all on me. This is like nothing, the game isn't going to give me anything to help me here. It's just like, can you, can you jump over enemies? Can you still avoid them? Well, if not, then I've got some bad news for you. But yeah, I thought, I've considered starting this episode with a disclaimer that this might not end in, like, full completion. Uh, but that's no fun, is it? That's just admitting defeat before we even begin, fuck! And, uh, we don't want to admit defeat before we even begin. Because otherwise people are going to be like, well, why would I ever watch any of your other Let's Plays? If you're just not going to commit, you got to commit. Oh my god. 
Oh, that killed my momentum as well. That's fun, isn't it? I could have I could have done another let's play. I could have opened up a let's play in another game that I really like. Uh, I could have opened up a let's play. Uh, well, I'm not going to give away what my ideas are, but I'm. Where I was originally going to do Super Mario Brothers 2 immediately after one, I now think it would be better to mix it up a bit. Oh my god, have they put extra fire spins in this? I think they have. Oh, that's cruel. Oh, come on, there was like a pixel. There was like a pixel of fire. There have been times in this game I've noticed where there have been a pixel. And I've still been able to get away with it, but sometimes it is like that, and then sometimes it isn't. Alright, let's see if we can hold on to this uh, fire flower. By the way, that's never made any sense, the fact that you pick up a fire flower, and now you're wearing white and you can shoot fireballs. Or I guess you pick up a flower. I've never understood that. But, you know, I guess it's not for me to question. Take this, Bowser. Oh, no. Face the right way, Mario. There we go. Oh my god, he turns into a grey Goomba? That's so weird, I've never noticed that before. He turn I don't know if that would show up because he might have been flashing and the frame rate limit means that flashing enemies turn invisible on the processed video. That's why Mario goes invisible sometimes, but he turns into like a little grey Goomba for a second there before he hit the lava. Which is uh, very strange. I wonder what the story behind that is. Alright, well 2-1. We're, we're getting through this faster than we were the final levels. Um, <laughs> had to curse it. Uh, but but that just makes me uh, slightly worried because I think we got through like half the game in the original first episode. And uh, that's that's not the case here. Oh my god, are they going to add extra hammer bros in later levels? I may need to abuse the save state feature after all. <laughs> we're either going to have to abuse the save state feature a little bit to get through this game on a harder mode. Um, or we're gonna, we're just gonna never finish it basically, that's how that's gonna work. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, that was a really risky jump. Doo -doo. So uh, I, I was checking out some more of the SNES library last night. Um, I played some Super Mario Kart, which I've done before but I wanted to remind myself what it was like. Turns out the special version of Super Mario Kart is just a version that um, unlocks it all. I don't remember this. This is new. And unwelcome, for the record. There we go. I hate the springs in this game, they're so finicky. That sound. That, that sound of silence is me trying to remember what I was talking about literally 10 seconds ago. Oh no. Also, I feel like I've got a burp coming, or a cough, or something. It's like in my chest. But I need to get it off my chest, and I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? I'll just edit it in if I remember what. If I uh, when I watch this back, I'll remember what I was saying, and I'll edit it in. So I've already said it. Um, which I guess means new topic. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was talking about. No need to do that, Christian. The SNES library. So yeah, I was playing that last night. Uh, I was playing some Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart Special just unlocks all of the tracks um, for it. So I just decided to play the actual Super Mario Kart. Um, and it, it's fun. It's really hard to turn, though. Like, cornering is really difficult in that game. Um, but I also discovered Panel Dupon. And, and, oh boy, is that game addictive. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm realizing there's actually a lot in the SNES library that's worth like that's worth playing. Um, the criticism of the SNES library is more to do with the fact that it hasn't had any meaningful additions in a long time than it is about like the fact that it's not very good. Um, Panel Upon is great. It's not got like a full English translation, so I'm not entirely sure like if there's a full-on career mode or what I'm doing. But I just know how to get into a game and play it. And um, it, it, I was playing it till 2 a.m. last night. <laughs> uh, not because I played loads of it, but just because I I, uh, I was um, I was browsing the SNES library uh, quite late, and I was like, "Oh, Paneled Upon, that'll be a, I'll I'll play a quick two-minute game of Paneled Upon," and it went on for 13 minutes. So I was like, "Oh, it's 2 a.m. now. I should probably be asleep." But it kept going, and like I I got really into it, and uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. 
I might do it for a weekly waypoint at some point in the future. Oh, I didn't do a suspend point. We're going to have to do it near the beginning of the level and hope a fish isn't about to kill me and ruin my entire run. Okay, good. Remember last time I did this and um, I got caught in front of a Koopa Trooper? Not Koopa Trooper, uh, a Hammer Bro. And it was, it was Nightmare City. Have they like doubled the amount of cheap cheeps that come flying out? It feels like they have. Whoa, whoa. No more wings for you, Mr. Cooper. Oh boy. And they've deleted some of the bridge, I think. I think that's how it was before. I think that wasn't how it was before, I mean. Ah, getting them points. Getting them points, baby. Okay, it feels weird to say baby when I'm not going baby. Be I can't fucking do the noise today. My throat's, my throat's not letting me. <coughs> baby! I can't do it. I can't say the word. And if you're watching this now and you're going, what the hell is he on about? Um, I, it's not like, it's, it's not like a Christianism. Like, it's not a thing that I say all the time. It's something uh, that a YouTuber I watch says all the time. Like, he says baby in a weird way. Like, hell yeah, baby. Like, that kind of thing. But like, hell yeah, baby. There it is. Um, <laughs> and uh, I watch enough of, uh, of YouTubers that I, uh, Accidentally adopt some of their what is it idiotisms? You know the word I'm on about. Not today. I always worry that Mario's not going to make that final little drop. <laughs> I wonder if that would even be possible. What the game would do about that? But um, but yeah. Wow, my uh, commentary went completely off the rails over the last couple of minutes. Remember when I was talking about a specific topic? I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> I was talking about New Game Plus in different games. I can't think of too many games that do New Game Plus very well. Like Ratchet and Clank always stood out to me, but other than that, it's usually just like, play the game again, but with gear you already have, and that stuff is usually reserved for games like Devil May Cry or something, like where you have a progression. I think the type of games I play just don't typically lend themselves very well to, uh, to a New Game Plus in that way. Or maybe I just don't beat enough games. I thought I beat hardly any games, but then I uh, I made a uh, profile on a website called howlongtobeat.com and I was going through my like PSN profile and everything and... Fuck! Figure it out. <laughs> you saw that coming. Don't tell me you didn't. Um, but yeah, I was going through that and uh, figuring out what which games I've beaten. And I have, I've beaten a decent amount of games. Most recently, Mass Effect 1. Uh, but I already talked about that a little bit in the weekly waypoint, which I recorded earlier today. Or yesterday, actually. I recorded it yesterday, but it went up today. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun, and I'm now halfway through Mass Effect 2. I'm not going to give any spoilers, so don't be concerned. Oh my god, I literally can't do the goddamn springs in this game. They suck. Um... And just like that, bang, and the fort is gone. Wow, I thought I was going to die there. <gasps> God, they're too, they're too quick, they're speedy boys. I think enemy speed in this game has just been sped up in general, like the Coopers. <laughs> the Coopers. Uh, it seems to be moving a little bit faster. Weirdly, the Hammer Bros aren't giving me as much trouble as they were before. Okay, there we go. Maybe I need to stop sprinting before I can really do anything. I'm going to regret that in a second. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, so many Coopers! I never thought Coopers would give me a hard time, but here we are. Oh my god. Yeah, they are, they're faster. I thought it was just, uh, the sh are they called Shellos or whatever? No, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> that's Shellos, the Pokemon. Uh, but those little Shell dudes, I always thought, um, I thought they were just faster than I remembered, but no, everything's sped up. Maybe the entire game speed is sped up. I need to check what the time is doing because maybe maybe that will be sped up too. It was already pretty fast. It was already faster than it should be. Nah, I think it's the same as what it was. Well, this level's pretty easy. Unfortunately, I don't like remember off the top of my head what... Uh... Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head what the original versions of these levels were like. Maybe if I'd like played the game in one sitting and then like sat down to continue playing it in one sitting, 
I would have had a better time. That level was easy as fuck. But I think it was in the original as well. Okay, we're getting a decent amount done here. I'm still dreading the final levels of this uh, new game plus. Like, how will they make the final levels worse than what they already were? I don't want to know. I do not want to know. Right. That's like the most pointless moving platform in all of video games. Ow! Okay, I'm sorry I insulted your moving platforms. If I wanted to fuck with people, I would just like move the height of these platforms like one pixel <laughs> for the new game plus. So people would like be used to the game and think that they know how to carry on, but then it would be like, wait, what? Also, I'm wondering if there was a new game plus at the end of the original Super Mario Brothers, or if this is an All-Stars exclusive. Like, is this something they added in as like a bonus for people? Also, just so you know, um, we've reached a time of year where the sun sets at a particular part in the sky. Or maybe it's just because, maybe it would always do this, and, and it's just normally too cloudy. But it's reflecting off of a neighbor's house across the street from me directly into my eyes. So uh, I've got that to contend with now as well. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't going to make that. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I, I feel like the next game I should let's play should be an Xbox game. There is a big sale coming up, so I might like shop with that in mind as well. I don't know. I, um, I booted up my PSP. Not that I can record from my PSP, but this is... Oh, fuck off, Bowser! <laughs> <laughs> you Cooper fuck. Um, this is vaguely related. In fact, you know what? Because I almost did it then. Let's uh, let's create a backup. Um, <laughs> sorry, that threw me off. Um, but yeah, um, it's not related necessarily to what I was saying because I can't record from my PSP. But I, I booted up my trusty PSP for like the first time in seven years. I think it was about that. Um, and I had a look at what I had on there, and I forgot. Well, I didn't forget, but I um. I had a look at the uh, PlayStation 1 classic version of Crash Bandicoot, which I had on there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. And uh, that game is impossible to control on PSP, because the little analog stick that PSP has does not cut it. And the D-pad, I don't know if like the D-pad for a new PSP is good enough, but the one I have is super soft and it's super hard to tell when you're pressing down on the buttons. That was close. Oh, hang on, let's do this one. Whew, and uh, and yeah, that's that's the end of that story. I have this habit I've noticed of um, whenever something happens in the game, if I don't lose my trail of thought, I'll at least lose like my momentum of of commentary. I'll be like, and I guess I've got nothing else to say about that. I. Also, a concern I have about these videos is that I'm talking about the act of making the videos far too much. Like, instead of coming up with interesting topics, I feel like I'm just talking about, oh, and then I was recording, and then I realised I had to mix the sound files, and nobody gives a shit about that. I think the reason why I do that is because I had such a fascination growing up, um, or I guess not growing up, but like, as a teenager, watching... Oh, that's weird, I got stuck in the block. Um, as a teenager watching Let's Plays, I had such a fascination with how people made them. I had, like, no idea. It was, like, <laughs> wizardry to me. <laughs> um, I mean, the first videos I ever uploaded to YouTube were just videos I downloaded onto my PSP and then uploaded from my PSP onto YouTube. That was the only way I could figure out to upload videos before I ever discovered Windows Movie Maker. And when I did, oh boy, did a slew of terribly made videos assault YouTube for the first few years. <laughs> uh, but you know what? That's an episode before we start this next uh, level. Uh, that is an episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.